Hello, dear friends of science and spirituality. Today I'd like to share something with you which keeps me inspired since more than 30 years. When, when I was quite young, my passion for science and later also for spirituality arose. It was a time when I started to read books like Foundations of Physics from philosophers like Karl Friedrich von Weizsäcker. And that time I started to look at what we call the classical worldview, the physics of the 19th century. The physics of the 19th century had a very clear distinction between the material reality out there and the conscious observer, which was more like a spiritual soul, which was external to the material reality. This was a very old idealistic worldview of philosophy and theology. But then, in the beginning of the 20th century, uh, one of the greatest revolutions in human thought happened by the um, discoveries of Max Planck and Albert Einstein, who I would call the grandfathers of quantum physics. They inspired through their work a whole generation of young geniuses like Niels Bohr, like Werner Heisenberg, like Wolf Wolfgang Pauli and Erwin Schrödinger, and I could mention so many more who started to form a new perspective of reality where matter and consciousness were not separated from each other but they started to merge into a reality where consciousness had a place within the external reality because it was the observer which would create out of a probabilistic wave function a physical reality without consciousness material reality wouldn't function anymore. But this new worldview gave rise to questions which have not been answered until today since almost 100 years. These are questions like, is there at all a physical reality out there or is it just all within our consciousness? And if yes or if no, what is the place of consciousness at all inside reality? How does it influence material um, objects like atoms? And is there a hidden reality behind the curtain of what quantum physics describes with the wave functions? More questions um, already when I started physics, uh, study physics were um, um, asked and they are still not answered until today. Roger Penrose, who received the Nobel Prize of Physics last year, he said that if the contradictions within modern physics between quantum physics and theory of relativity are solved, we will also solve the riddle of consciousness. And if we solve the enigma of consciousness, we will solve the big questions of physics. So that's a great task. And I would invite you to participate in this scientific discussion with me and five leading professors of philosophy, of science, of psychology, of quantum physics. You're invited to take part in a webinar in a series of 12 seminars starting on the 9th of April on the topic of expansions of quantum theory towards consciousness. It's hosted by the Deutsche Sanskrit University, a government recognized university in northern India um, who will all, and they will also issue a certificate to all of you who successfully participate in this webinar. So you are invited to go through this with me to this journey and discover a little more about the secrets behind the reality of matter and consciousness. If you are interested to join, you might be a student, you might be a professional in medicine, or you might be an academic or a therapist, please uh, register on the website of the Existential Consciousness Research Institute. And uh, I'm looking forward to meet all of you on the 9th of April, where the seminar starts. All the best.